Hello, hi, it's Liz here and today I thought I would make some more postcards. Um, I've made these before, uh, they had birds on the last time. Today I'm going to put butterflies on as a focal point because it's the summer and there's lots of butterflies about. And um, yeah, I used up all the ones I had before. Um, so yeah, let's do some more. You can never go wrong with a postcard. <laughs> so the stamp is Urban Stamps. It's um, inky, as you can see, for dirty fingers already and I've not even started. Um, Urban Stamps and it's called Postal Frame. Now, I've had this a long time, so I don't know. Maybe you'll be able to track one down on eBay or something like that. So we're just going to put it on our block. I've already stamped three out and trimmed round. So I'm using Versafine Vintage Sepia instead of the black today for a little change. Um, I'm just going to stamp on this spare piece of patterned paper. And that will just give me a nice background to start with. It was just spare pieces that I had lying about. Um, I don't care that the background is quite busy. It doesn't matter. I'll be decorating it all up. And some of it will... You'll be able to see through the decoration the little bit of collage that I'm going to be doing. So, yeah. The last time I stitched round them... Not sure that I'll stitch around them today. We'll see how busy they look once they're done. There we are. So we'll just trim around that. This is a nice, quick, easy make. I've been working on my yo-yo journal we're calling it barbie and nelly and ruth designs and i are doing a collaboration we were doing two journals and we'll end up with a journal each and it'll have been decorated by both of us in a nice mix of styles and subjects and so i've been figuring out a few pages for that so this is a nice, not that that's difficult, you know, the journal's difficult, but this is just super easy. Um, so that's with the four postcards I'm going to do. So let's just start on one and just start to layer up. Um, I've got the little postage type stamps, but the stamp already has that. So it depends whether we cover that up a little bit, whether I'll put some more stampy things on. Uh, I might put some script here. I think we'll maybe do that first. Let's just get the back. Do I need a block? I think we'll just do it without the block. Just put some ink on the middle there. And it means that if it looks faded, that's fine because um, it's it's a pretend old pa uh, passport postcard. <laughs> I don't know which way around that that should be. I mean, I think it's pretend writing anyway, but I sort of want it to look... I think we'll go with that way. I sort of wanted it to kind of look semi-right. <laughs> yeah, that looks okay. Good, because if I had decorated this side first and then stamped over, that I don't think that would have looked right. Anyway, so let's think what we're going to do. We're going to have a focal point of a butterfly. So, definitely one of them. Definitely one of these. These are just Tim Holtz little pieces of ephemera. Definitely a ticket. 
these came in the Happy Mail from from Barbie. Beautiful tickets. I'm just going to take this yellow one because it matches the colour of that butterfly. You might find it weird that I start with the, the focal point and then work my way down, but doesn't seem weird to me. Is it, is it weird? Do you, do you start with the background and work up or do you start with your focal point and work down? I just think if you've got your focal point picked out, that's sort of matches. Um, I think we'll just go with that without having a rummage for any more. If you've got your focal point picked out then you know for sure that you're going to have that. Maybe something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, if you know for sure what your focal point's going to be, then you want everything else to work around it. And so I think it just seems quite obvious that you would you would do a focal point first. Do not think? No? Maybe? <laughs> so we've been having a bit of a heat wave here now. Not nearly as bad here as what they're having down south. They got 40, I think 40 something degrees. I think the highest here was something like 30 something low 30s we were, which for us in the north is pretty hot. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Anyway, it's cooler today. So, after I've done this video and posted it, we're going to go off out to a little shopping centre called The Fort. It's open air, so we take the dog, it's very dog friendly, The Fort, and that's where Hobbycraft is because I need replacement blades for my trimmer. What do you think? I think that's nice. Sticky bit on the back there. Yeah. Now I've got this washi which is four stamps. There's a butterfly down there. Now, do I want this on or do I want to stick with the faux? I think we'll put this on. We might not put one on them all. Yeah. Now, what do we do with this? Just put this back on like that. Yeah, why not? Now, do we want these wavy lines? I think we do. Wavy lines. Just reach for a, a block there. My wavy lines aren't sticky anymore. Just give it a little dab of glue stick. Oh, 
all extrudent with the ink there. And I don't think that will dry look very well. Just rub that wee excess off. And I think that's it done. I wonder about a wee bit washy down here. This one was just lying to the side there. do another one. So, focal point, a green one this time, and then one of these. Let's have bits of the bird, if I can get it up. <laughs> And a ticket. I think we'll have this strange looking plant down here. A little splash of colour. Because there's wee bits of red in the butterfly there. Yeah. Now, I don't think we need a flower, a background on this one. This one's quite full. So let's do the stamping. the sticking. Stamping and the sticking. Yeah, so I need to go to Hobbycraft for blades, for replacement blades for my trimmer. And who knows what else might just be there for the buying. <laughs> And we'll get a wee coffee. And maybe share a wee brownie or something sweet. Let's see. There we are. Now I think maybe this one needs one of those faux stamps. What have we got? Just use this end one. It's nice and easy. And my stripes. <laughs> or postal mark or whatever it is that we're calling it. Just wipe that off that sticker because that won't dry. There. Good. Yeah, 
I'm not sure about stitching round because it's got like a little fancy border anyway. Two down. Let's do one more. Right. This one maybe. Or this one. Oops. I bent these little antenna there. And, oh, here's a butterfly. I'll put the butterfly up the top this time because I've put, put it down low in both of these. So this time we'll put it up high. And I think we'll have a flower this time. on. Might not be much of it showing but it, enough enough to give us a little bit of colour. shows. Well, we didn't put any washi on this one. Just going back a step here. We didn't do our script. He didn't stop me firing ahead before we put whatever this person's writing on their postcard. Eh? Wish you were here. Food, good, weather, great. That's the usual kind of thing that you used to put in postcards, isn't it? Yeah, we managed we managed to get it on without going over too much of the the stickers and the bits. Good. Right, so what else? I'm wondering if we should put one of those stamps up here this time. They're all up and down the way. Is there one that's gonna go along the way? Same as that other one. Right, this love this one is that one there. Yes, it is. Right, so we don't need to tear another one off because it's <laughs> Fanko. That didn't quite come apart. There we are. And I'm just going to put it on across the way. Right, 
Huh. I've lost my P from post. It's now an Oost card. <laughs> Oops. Right, let's just take that off and give it a wee stamp. It's already got a wee round one on, but that just kind of reinforces the the message of it being a kind of postal thing. That's well stamped. <laughs> it's been all round the world and back. <laughs> right. Um, a little bit. A little bit of you know what. What time are we at? 20 odd minutes. I think we'll leave it there. Nice to do things in threes. I've got a spare one here, but that can do next time. So, yeah, happy with them. I'm not going to stitch around because I think they're quite busy. So these can either be used as journaling cards or you could attach them to your journal just on three sides and make them a pocket. Um, or you could just pop them in some happy mail. Um, yeah, I'm really pleased with how they've turned out. So, if you've enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would be great and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.